Good day, good day, good day, everyone. It's Latrice Kelly coming to you with a quick little cook with me. Welcome to this channel and welcome back to the old heads, the day ones. We're going to make some greens today in my Ambiano, aka the Aldi's version of the Instant Pot. The Instant Pot, for the most part, is going to do everything for us. We have it on the saute mode. I'm going to show you how I quick saute my onion and garlic to start out my greens process, okay? So that's going in just so we can emit some of that fabulous garlic aroma. Because we want to flavor these greens as best we can. Greens make a fabulous side dish your vegetable to accompany your dinners. So I had like about a half a bag left of bad green, so I didn't want them to go to waste. I figured I would go ahead and show y'all how to make this. Careful, we don't want that garlic to burn. We're just trying to get a little bit of the essence out of it. So that looks good for the most part. I'm not gonna do too much. And so here are my greens. They've been washed, even though they're bagged and pre-cut greens, I still wash them. I remove all the extra stems. In my opinion, bad greens come with way too many stems. It's very annoying. So we got rid of those. And so now we're gonna go ahead and add them to the Instant Pot. Ooh, it's popping, it's popping, it's popping. We're cooking, y'all, we're cooking, we're cooking. So what I really wanna do to these is put this on slow cooker but first like I said I wanted to just saute the vegetables all right FYI these are collard greens uh, I think it's sauteing a lot now so we're gonna go ahead and cancel that And switch over to the slow cooker mode. That is a piece of smoked turkey. I believe that's smoked turkey tails. So that's gonna give your greens some deep flavors. If you're vegetarian, obviously you can skip that step. So for our seasonings, you're gonna wanna add some salt and pepper or in this case, seasoned salt and pepper. I actually have something called green seasoning, which is basically a compilation of salt, paprika, onion powder, and stuff like that. So, y'all know I don't measure nothing. I wait for the ancestors to tell me to stop. Then we have some crushed red pepper, because I like it with a little kick. Just a splash or so of olive oil. Okay, that helps with rendering your greens and getting them tender. And let's see, did I miss anything? I sure did. I have apple cider vinegar. Let me give it a good shake first. Few splashes of that is going in for some added sweetness. Speaking of sweetness, you always want to put a little bit of sugar in greens. Just a little pinch or two. That also helps with removing the bitterness from the greens. And because this is an instant pot and I don't want it to burn at the bottom, we need a little liquid to get things going. Greens have water in them, so you don't ever want to do too much water or else they'll come out very, very mushy. So I'm hoping that frozen piece of smoked turkey is gonna cook in the allotted time here. I believe it will. This Instant Pot is set for six hours on default for a slow cook recipe, but you can always stop it in the middle and check on it, which I am gonna do. I don't wanna cook my greens for six hours. I don't have a lot. Greens are fabulous when they have a little bit of bite and crunch to them. Don't want mushy greens. 
I think people do too much to green sometimes and they come out very, very mushy and soupy and we don't want that. So probably let this cook for two hours. So we'll check back in a minute. So I'm gonna close the pot. All right, closing these things are always tricky. Ooh, and I did it on the first run, yay! So, you want the lock to be engaged so you know that it's locked, because this is also a pressure cooker. One thing I forgot to tell you that I like adding is a piece of chicken bouillon. So, you can also sub chicken broth for where I put the water in, or vegetarian, or vegetable broth. are now prepared they make a lovely side dish and companion piece to your soul food plate for Juneteenth this was our menu fried chicken that we got catered and then we made our own red beans and rice and cornbread if you have any questions about the preparation of greens let me know in the comments I remember having greens as a kid with sliced raw onion and tomato and a little bit of vinegar you can eat them that way some people eat them with their hands there's no right or wrong way to enjoy your greens just enjoy them if you have any ideas or suggestions for my next cook with me let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next one like and share it's latrice kelly